In the upcoming episode of Days of Our Lives on Tuesday, February 27, tensions rise as Chad DeMera and Everett Lynch face interrogation regarding Lucas Horton's whereabouts. Despite their assurances of silence, Jada Hunter remains skeptical, especially amidst ongoing drama involving Bobby. Chad senses the strained atmosphere and probes for details, leading to a confrontation over Stephanie Johnson's well-being. Meanwhile, Nicole and E.J. DiMera visit Holly Jonas, hoping for her recovery, while Johnny pleads for her return to the family. In another storyline, Kayla Johnson delivers devastating news to Abe Carver and Chanel DiMera concerning Paulina Price's declining health post-surgery. As Paulina suffers a heart attack, her loved ones struggle to cope with the grim prognosis. Meanwhile, Deidre Hall warns of John Black's past resurfacing, with Constantine seeking revenge for his daughter's death, raising questions about John's history and the extent of mind control he has faced. As Holly's coma persists and tensions escalate among sale mites, the episode promises emotional confrontations and revelations that will impact the lives of those involved. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Tuesday, February 27th, Chad and Everett's interrogation, Johnny's bitter plea to Holly, Paulina's sad twist. According to spoilers for Tuesday, February 27, S episode of Days of Our Lives, Everett Lynch will go to the police station after receiving a summons there. When Everett comes, Chad DeMera will be ready, and they will both go to an interrogation with Jada Hunter. Jada will have to interview Chad and Everett because they were aware of Lucas Horton's whereabouts due to the leak of his whereabouts. Jada will be skeptical despite Everett and Chad's assurances that they kept quiet, especially in light of all the Bobby drama. It appears that Chad will inquire about details since he will sense the strained atmosphere between Jada and Everett. Everett will open up about his identity crisis, and Chad will lose it over what he's done to Stephanie Johnson. According to teasers for days, Everett will object since he loves Stephanie and would never purposefully harm her. Naturally, Chad could question how Everett can be certain given how severely he injured Jada in his Bobby days. Despite his lack of familiarity with Jada, Chad will also stand up in support of her. All of this has turned into an absolute nightmare for everyone involved, so Chad is going to put Everett on full blast and make plans to console Stephanie as soon as he finds her. Nicole DeMera and EJ DeMera will visit Holly Jonas in the interim, allowing them to stay in touch while they continue to pray for her complete recovery. According to teasers for days, Johnny DeMera will also visit Holly in her bedroom. There, he will give a heartfelt speech urging Holly to return to her loving family. Fans of Days of Our Lives can anticipate Holly's coma to end by midweek, so it appears that Johnny's visit will hasten the process. Instead, let's discuss a sale mite who is dealing with some deteriorating health problems. According to teasers for days, Kayla Johnson will be visiting Abe Carver and Chanel DeMera at the hospital with some very bad news. Following her operation, Paulina Price suffered a heart attack, suggesting that there were unanticipated issues that need to be resolved. Sadly, Kayla won't have any encouraging news to share. Given Paulina's dismal prognosis, Chanel and Abe will struggle to make sense of everything. Positively, according to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Abe and Chanel will soon receive some family support because Eli and Lonnie Grant are returning home later this week. Deidre Hall issues a warning, it can be a slippery slope as Days of Our Lives explores John's pawn past. For John Black of Days of Our Lives, the past and present are crashing together once more. However, he is not unfamiliar with this. It really does come back frequently tormenting a man who is incapable of remembering his history. Naturally, Constantine, who is determined to hold John accountable for killing his daughter, is the reason for the do-over this time. The problem is that the con assumes John perpetrated the deed only because he was present, 
even if he didn't really witness it. He was also Victor's pawn. That is a novel turn of events for someone we assumed mostly served Stefano, as is the knowledge that Steve served as his handler. However, what is real and what isn't? Deidre Hall recently told Soap Opera Digest that John is determined to learn more about that. She said, at this point, he doesn't even exactly know what that past is. I mean, he's been somewhat mind-controlled by Constantine. John does, however, set out on a quest to restore his reputation in Greece. Thus, there is a somewhat ongoing story to all of this. Given how frequently the Salem family has been traveling to Greece since Victor's passing, perhaps they can now qualify for a frequent flyer discount. But to make things even more complicated, Constantine possesses a card that allows him to play the pawn. From where did it originate? To what extent does it grant him control? Though we've often believed the pawn had been erased from John's memory, we may now have to accept that it will always be a part of him. But this time, according to Hall, it's not quite how it is. She clarified, this Constantine storyline takes him in a different direction, but he remains as John. She did, however, change that to for most of it. Hall said to digest, I always wonder how far we'll take it because it can be a slippery slope when you lose John. We are aware of his stability, lovely nature, and romantic nature. Upon realizing he is someone else, you may find yourself wondering, wait, what? This particular walk down memory lane should help us better understand John and his past, as well as why Constantine is so fixated on getting revenge on Victor after his death. Hopefully, it won't derail John. It seems that Constantine's accusation of Victor and his pawn for his daughter's death was the catalyst for the beginning of their hostility. Maybe we can finally get rid of Constantine for good if John can clear his name and it turns out that they weren't accountable for Katharina's death. We most definitely don't want John to lose himself or Marlena to lose him. However, the possibility of saving Maggie, John, and Steve's life from Constantine might just make this particular hill worthwhile to descend. Spoilers for a days, Paulina and her family received terrible news. What will Johnny, Chanel, and Abe say? The spoilers for Tuesday, February 27th episode of Days of Our Lives reveal some awful news to Abe, Johnny, and Chanel regarding Paulina. If it's private information, there's no way to win. But isn't it legal for Paulina to be informed first if it's medical news? Get ready! Chanel and Johnny exchanged vows in Paulina's hospital room prior to her cancer surgery, making sure she wouldn't miss their big occasion. Meanwhile, Abe, who still can't seem to get over his love for Paulina, is supporting her. For the self-serving mayor of Salem, everything is going well. However, wait to pop the cork on the champagne. Kayla has a somber look on her face as she studies her chart. Day of Visiting Holly has returned from her trip to Italy. Even though Nicole maintains that she is much better, she is still in a coma. Who's going to argue with a mother in deep grief? Nicole has returned to EJ, who is likewise on board because, to be honest, there is no financial risk to him. Since playing with Tate means playing with Teresa and Brady, he's having fun. Johnny is also offering assistance. He pays Holly a visit. Perhaps some encouraging words from the stepbrother Holly is crushing on can motivate Holly to come out of her annoying stupor in a manner that her loving mother simply cannot. Superior half. Everett is adamant that he is not Bobby Stein, that he has never heard of Bobby Stein, and that he doesn't know Bobby Stein. We can see why Everett might want to solve this riddle, even though we don't fully understand why Jada is so fixated on a man she dumped half a decade ago. He is an espionage journalist. He is going to look into this. And he's bringing Chad, his employer, along for the trip. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.